What's up, y'all? It's Tenacious, and I'm standing outside one of the dopest venues for live music that Greensboro has to offer, and that is the one and only Blind Tiger. You know, this place been around since 1988, providing opportunities for a lot of local talent to come out and showcase their music skills, as well as being a pit stop for a lot of mainstream artists who may be on tour. Tonight, the Blind Tiger is going to put down the DSB Dirty South Beatdown. What this is, is an opportunity for producers all over to come and showcase their talent and compete against other cats trying to do the same thing. Tonight, we got a lot of these cats who made the trip, and we're going to interview them to see exactly who they are, what they represent, and what it takes to be the Dirty South Beatdown Champion. And look, once again, thanks for tuning in, baby. This is Tenacious, outside the Blind Tiger. Who the thump, baby? Who the thump? Alright, like I said, we out here at the Blind Tiger. Things are about to pop off, you know, people are rolling in. Philly's upstage, you know, already playing some fire beats. I mean, the, the whole, whole aspect is going down. And you know, front door opens up, and none other than my man, A. Dot Star, all the way from VA, here to bless us. In the building. So, uh, A. Dot, you know, is there a meaning behind the name? I mean, was it something given to you? You figured out yourself? Man, there was a lot behind the name, man. I started out rapping. And my name was Afterthought, because I kind of wanted you to think after you heard my lyrics. Man, I'm, I'm kind of old school. I like lyrics, so yeah. that's when I start getting more into production, because I ain't really rocking with a lot of rappers out here that don't got no meaning to their lyrics. So that's where the A comes from. I live in Roanoke. If you ever been to Roanoke, there's a mountain. There's a star on top of that mountain, and I'm that star on top of the mountain. So you got A dot star, spell the dot. Right, that's what I'm talking about. I appreciate that, man. Hey, look, we, we want to use this as a, a platform for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Is there some contact information you could shout out? Maybe give some people a, a lead way to contact you? Man, you can find me a.star540.com. You can find me on Twitter, a.star540. It's all a.star, man. It's the next. If you ain't heard of me, about to find out. We got a lot of placements coming out. We got a lot of stuff in the works. Let's go. All right. So, I mean, if people want to know who A. Dot Star was, I mean, what would you say your style is? I mean, is there a direction that you go when you're making beats? I mean, what, what do you think separates you from everybody else? What is your style? Man, my style is different. I'm going to hit you with in your face drums I mean we VA so we known for the change ups I mean people acting like Timberland ain't come from VA you know so but the thing is different is a lot of people sample a lot of people just play the sample how it is no originality man I'm gonna chop up the sample I'm gonna turn out the sample I'm gonna flip the sample so many times you ain't even gonna know what sample it is until look, this is the original that's why I'm different, man. Y'all do the easy way. Easy way to put 808s with no substance. Now, you feel comfortable shouting out those samples? I mean, is there like a respect level? Or are you like, hey, man, I'm gonna do this thing a little bit better? Sound, I love the confidence, brother. I love it. Man, it's hip hop, so sampling is, you know, it's part of the game. I just say, yo, let's be creative. That's why this shit is watered down, man. If, if, if you ain't working uncomfortable, man, you ain't working. All right, putting in work, I like that. So, uh, how many beat battles have you been a part of, and uh, what kind of success have you experienced doing it? Man, I've been here quite a few times. This is probably my fourth one here. Um, and I had pretty good success. Uh, my first time out, made it to the second round, you know. But I think I, you know, kind of took back a little, you know. I ain't, I, I was kind of saving it, kind of learning the game. Now I'm just right going on. for heads, man. Right on. So I, I don't got no this round beat. I got last round beats. First right. round. Right, right. So, I mean, I love how you use the word success, and that, that's the direction I kind of want to go in. You know, if there's somebody out there watching tonight, tomorrow, whatever, and they're up and coming, they they really want to get into this thing, what is your strategy for success? I mean, is there something you can kind of help them out? Maybe they're too scared to come out. Maybe you can shine some light on that. Look, man, if you're too scared, stay home. You ain't going to make it. Man, success. Success, everybody wants success. But nobody want grind. You look at my Facebook, you look where I'm at, four in the morning, I'm up. I work 11 hours a day at a regular job. So if you ain't ready to put in dedication, if you ain't ready to give it all, 
you ain't gonna get it because there's kids right now that have nothing that's yeah. going for your spot that you ain't even got yet right on. better right get on. to work all right see i like that man i mean there, there's a lot of power coming from you right now man. i have to step my game up as an interviewer but look you're standing up there you, you've been here a little while you, you, you know the concept of the whole battle look man who is somebody you would like to be standing in front of when it comes round one, two, three, championship? I'm going to say it. BLD, I see y'all out there <laughs> tag teaming it up. And Bob the reason Bates. why I spit, because I love it. I love the sport. I think they're a great individual. And I hate to call out, but hey, y'all put y'all targets on y'all back when y'all join forces. Good. And this is my up. and this is my DSB, so all y'all targets. <laughs> <laughs> I like so that. Let's go. I like that. So a producer, we're, we're gonna stay on that platform. You know what I'm saying? So somebody reaches out to you, they want to get a beat from A Dot Star. Now you put together this dope ass beat, you put your time into it, and you end up selling it to an MC that is, let's say, sub Paul. What is your reaction to that particular track? If you know the beat is hot, it's A dot, but the lyrics is just a little out of your range. Man, that, that's kind of a complex question because the music business really ain't that easy. It depends right. how much he's paying. And if we're building, like if we're building something together, what I like more, I, I'd rather build something with an artist. I'd rather us, this is our project together, we both invested rather than to just sell you a beat. Right on. Because if we ain't both invested, then it's just another song, but if we both invested, we both gonna push it, we both gonna try to get this together, it's a partnership, Word like up. everything, Word a up. partnership. Word up, well, you a VA cat, you come all the way down here for this DSB, and uh, to be honest with you, you know, there were a lot of NC producers that kind of refused or didn't make the attempt to come out here and be interviewed. And with that said, I mean, do you think there's a, a, a thin line, a thick solid line that separates VA from NC as far as motivation, talent, or just willingness to get their name out there? Nah, they lucky. They, they, used, to, they used to beat battles and they used to these shows out here. They, they used to, they got comfortable. You, you, you gotta understand, there's people, I don't care, I'll be on the corner of a street with a person with a cell phone. You wanna hear something about 8 I Star, you gonna hear it. I bet, I bet, and I love it. Uh, again, I love the energy. And uh, something to kind of close, or at least get us right towards the end of the interview, you, you're in the championship round. Uh, Eddie Ruger, the host of the show, says, hey, we got a special guest that was only permitted to battle in the championship round. And it's an industry cat. Is there an industry cat that you would just go crazy over the chance to compete against here at DSB? Man, I'm gonna take that L, but I'm gonna have to go with Timbaland, man. I kinda feel like Timbaland does a beat battle when he ain't even in a beat battle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he takes R&B tracks to the next level. Right on. You know, with sounds you ain't even heard, heard, heard of, so, you know, I, I climb that mountain, I take that challenge. Okay. I probably take that L, but you know, hey, I get no, that contact no, information. No, no, no. That I learned. Gonna get you I learned. <laughs> well, look, man, we appreciate the time, brother. No doubt, nothing, man. Nothing, 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 but much respect for you. I mean, we hope you go out there and you represent for VA. A couple NC cats gonna try and take it from you, but hopefully next time we interview, we'll be sitting in the green room with the championship belt around you. Man, we gonna party, man. You know, NC, <laughs> NC, my home away from home, man. Word okay. up, word up. A dot star, all the way from VA. Your boy Two Tenacious. I hear Blind Tiger. Who the thump? Word up.
Yeah.